stop immediately taking high protein diets because high protein diets are going to damage your kidneys and once you cross the age of 40 you need to minimize the protein intake because your digestive system will be slowing down and it will become more difficult to digest protein in that age and if you have any kind of metabolic disorder like obesity or diabetes staying away from high protein diet will be a smart option to become healthy do you believe in all such statements so let's dive a little bit deeper in this video and let's separate the fact from the fiction and we will be speaking a little bit more about the most controversial at important macro of our plate which is known as protein so the hi this is your health and wellness coach sanju kaliwala and i welcome you in one more power packed informative video of our channel so without wasting time let's do the video <laughs> Have you ever wonder why people started thinking particularly about to protein from where they got this misinformation and deeply seeded in their brains and they started believing it so I believe it could be the work of some outdated studies or some half knowledge medical practitioners yes because most of the medical practitioners are good in their studies they are good in their practice but coming to the nutritional part they carry very minimal knowledge and this could be the work of such kind of medical practitioner and the studies which conducted and proved that protein is going to damage the kidneys was conducted on the people who were already carrying some kind of kidney conditions so by this everything we can conclude that if you are a normal person without any prior kidney condition or any prior medical condition you can include appropriate sufficient protein in your diet to keep yourself healthy because protein has various functions to perform in our body like from building muscle tissues from uh, reducing the fat from building strong immunity keeping you fuller for a longer time vagera vagera there are number of functions has to be performed by protein so having sufficient protein in your diet will always help you to keep yourself healthier and fitter so always treat protein as a good friend instead of enemy and include protein sufficient protein in your diet and coming to the next uh, point does our indian foods provide sufficient protein so this question is for you do you think dal roti is sufficient to get protein the required protein the answer is no this is a hard truth my friend and uh, you need to digest as per the who research most of the indians are not taking at least 50% of daily protein requirement because our indian foods are rich in carbohydrates and lower on protein side and most of the people are vegetarian and they will think just dal roti will provide the sufficient protein but the answer is no if you want to complete the protein requirement and most of the people will think protein is just for a bodybuilders or for sports people or for at least but no even a normal person even a sedentary person also required anywhere between 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per kg body weight to see all the functions working properly so if you want to fulfill this number at least you need to include some kind of dairy products or soya products if you are vegetarian or you can rely on animal based products like eggs meats vagera vagera if you are a non vegetarian to fulfill your protein requirement on a daily basis now coming to the next point do we need to reduce the protein intake after crossing the age of 40 so this is also one of the trending myth among the people that once we cross the age of 40 we need to minimize the protein requirement because our digestive system will be slowing down and it will be difficult to digest the protein and uh, the remained protein in our stomach will damage the kidneys and there will be a lot of health complications but the fact is quite opposite to this 
once you cross the age of 40 you will be required more amount of protein because you may be facing the age related muscle loss process which is known as sacropenia in this process you will be losing your lean mass and it will be replacing by fat which is not good in the long run to avoid this process to minimize this process you need to take sufficient protein in your diet as per your requirement which is which will help you to keep yourself healthy and away from any kind of medical or health complications in future so this was the answer for people who think after 40 you need to minimize the protein now Second category of people, people who are suffering from some kind of medical disorder like obesity or diabetes. Do they need to keep themselves away from the high protein intake? The answer is no. Because if you are suffering from diabetes, you need to include good quality lean protein in your diet because protein will not affect on the blood sugar as like carbohydrates. And it will also help to boost your metabolism, which is directly re related to your good health. So, despite of your medical condition or despite of your medical disorder, you need to add good amount of protein. And if you are a person who is suffering from obesity, adding high protein meals will always beneficial because high protein leads to increase the satiety, means it will help you to stay fuller for a longer time which will suppress your hunger, which directly leads to low calorie input and which will which is, which is directly related to weight loss or fat loss. And uh, this whole process will help you to stay healthier and fitter for a longer time. So this was the answer for those category people who are suffering from metabolic disorders and they think we need to keep ourselves away from taking high protein. So this was all about in this video, few myths uh, pertaining to our protein intake. I tried to debunk the protein. Hope you got a good idea about uh, high protein meals. If you are still carrying some kind of doubts or if you are still searching for a solution for your health, for your fitness, you can join my community by clicking on the link in my description where you will find like-minded people who are helping each other to achieve their good health, to achieve their fitness, to achieve their longevity by using all natural techniques, by the way. And uh, if you felt this video informative, please do like and share with your friends who are still having confusion relating to protein. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future. So this is Sanju Kaliwala signing off. See you in the next video. Till that time, stay healthy, stay fit and stay natural. Bye-bye.